Hi everybody, it's Miss Marla with the Alma Public Library and I'm here with you this morning to tell you all about the week two kits for our summer reading program. So um, this week we are making animal magnets. So your kit's going to have everything that you need in order to create your own animal and to, um, you know, make it stick to the fridge or your locker or wherever you might want to be putting it. Before we get too much further, I want to make sure that I tell you guys what the secret word is for this week. So this week, our secret word is whale. It is all lowercase w-h-a-l-e. So if you guys are doing Wandu Reader, you can submit that online into your um, Wandu Reader account, or of course, you can come into the library and um, tell us the word at the desk and fill out your weekly drawing entry. So like I said, this week we are making um, animal magnets and I have one of the animals that I've created here. I made a little pig. So you can see him there. I've already painted him. He's looking good. I don't have his magnet on him yet. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to attach that in a little bit. But this is Wilbur from Charlotte's Web, of course. So let's go ahead and um, break into this kit and you guys can see what all is in there. And I'll show you guys another way that you can make a pig or any other animal that you might want to make. So this is this week's kit. Um, everything will come in this little brown paper sack, just like usual. And of course we have our instruction sheet here on the front. But let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So first, everyone is going to get a lump of clay. Now this is air dry clay, so make sure that if you open it up and you don't use it all right away or um, anything like that, that you keep it wrapped up, keep it in a Ziploc, something like that, just so that it doesn't completely dry out before you're ready to use it. Um, you will also get a small magnet, so grown-ups, please be careful with the magnets with your with your really little ones. Um, everyone gets a paintbrush and some paints. So your first step, of course, is going to be to actually create your animal out of the clay. So you have your choice of either doing a 3D animal like the one that I showed you with um, the pig with its snout that sticks out and its ears and everything or you can even do kind of a flat or 2d animal and that's what i'm going to show you right now so i'm gonna make a pig again because i don't know i like pigs i think they're cute so i'm going to start out by making a circle with my clay or a sphere i guess I'm just rolling it in my hands until it is pretty round and then I'm just going to flatten it right on my table here so that I can make a nice round pig head. And I'm going to pick it up very carefully and kind of reshape it. And now I have a really flat, kind of skinny disc that I can use as my pig's head. So with a couple other pieces of clay, I'm going to make some ears and a snout. Um, to make the snout, actually, I'm just going to take another piece of clay, a really, really tiny piece, you can see there, and roll that into a circle and flatten it out. And then I'm just going to stick it right on my pig's face here. I'm gonna use the back side of my brush to kind of add a little bit of texture here to my clay to kind of help it stick together like that all right and then i'm just going to stick it right on my main part of my pig's head there so that's where we're at i'm going to make a couple ears now now i don't know about you guys but i really struggle to make my piece is the same when I'm making two pieces. So I decided that, you know, we're not all symmetrical. Humans, people in general, you know, 
So it's okay if my pegs aren't completely symmetrical either. So when you guys are making your animals, don't worry about making them perfect because they will be very adorable no matter what you do and it will be your creation. So I'm just smoothing out where the pieces meet. I don't know if you can kind of see how right there it's not smoothed together yet, but I did smooth it on that side. So that's all I'm doing here to try to make sure that they kind of stick together when the clay all dries because I don't want it to fall apart. Now, if you guys do use separate pieces like me and you are struggling with your pieces staying together, um, you can always use a good strong glue to reattach it. Um, I've found that like tacky glue like this really works best for clay. Hot glue doesn't really seem to have the same effect. All right, so I'm gonna make my other ear now. I'm gonna try to use the same amount of clay so that they look, you know, like they belong to the same pig, but like we were talking about, it's okay either way. Right. So I'm going to attach this ear now. This one's just a little bit wider than the other one, but that's okay. And um, these kits are going to be available all week, um, first come, first served. So you guys can come in, pick them up. They will be across in the circulation desk like usual. Be sure to come in, tell the staff at the desk the secret word so you can get entered into our drawing for this week. All right, we are almost done with this part and I'm just gonna kind of make them a little bit more the same, I think. All right, so that's pretty good. What do you guys think? I think that's starting to look like a pig. What do you think? All right, so now I'm just going to add some eyes. And again, I'm just gonna use really teeny tiny balls for my eyes. And I'm actually just rubbing them right between my fingertips to make it round. See how teeny tiny that is? And I'll squish it down flat and stick it on my pig right on his head or her head, I haven't decided yet. My first pig I named Wilbur from Charlotte's Web, of course. So I'll have to come up with another good name for this piggy. Let's see if I can get the eyes a little bit even. All right. And then I'm going to, again, use the back side of my paintbrush to kind of add the nostrils to my pig's snout here. Just going to very gently put some indentations here in the snout. I'm gonna add a couple up to the ear here just to add a little bit of interest up there. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do for my pig today. Now I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours before I paint it, just to make sure that the clay doesn't, um, you know, kind of leak into the paint, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna just set it aside and let it dry. But that is how we are doing those kits for today. Um, you know what, let me show you just real quick how we will um, attach the magnets. Um, I'm going to use a hot glue gun and then you guys can see how we do that with the hot glue. Of course, I was just telling you that hot glue doesn't stick super well to clay, so I guess it'll be a fun experiment. So I am going to try and attach my, my little magnet here using my hot glue gun. I've had it heating up um, for a while now. So I am actually just going to put a little dot of glue gun, right, of glue gun, of hot glue, <laughs> right on the back of my pig's head, poor little Wilbur there, and then I'm going to attach my magnet. And 
I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure to kind of get that really flush down to the magnet to the surface there. So you can see we have the magnet there. I'm going to give it a little wiggle to see if it's taking. Oh yeah, that looks like it's going to stick on pretty well. So you guys can use hot glue for the magnets. Otherwise, like I said earlier, we have, you can use tacky glue, super glue, E6000, something like that would work really well also. So to remind you guys, the secret word this week is whale, all lowercase, W-H-A-L-E. Be sure to come in, stop and pick up your summer reading craft kit, sign up for summer reading if you guys haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. And, um, Ooh, enter the weekly drawing, that's the other thing. So enter the weekly drawing for a chance to win a prize this week. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I will see you next week for a new craft kit. Bye everybody.